Have it. Everything's on schedule. Yeah, we're right on schedule. Uh, uh, we anticipate uh, receiving the uh, uh, the arena from the contractor around the 15th of October, which gives us about 10 days before uh, Bon Jovi concert on the 20th. So you are among those who are happy that the Devils have started the season with a nine-game, three-week road trip. I'm, I'm not sure I'm happy about it, but uh, it certainly makes my job a lot easier. Yes. Jim, can you take us through how you keep the surface so flat? What well, again, technology is behind that? There's three lasers down there that uh, that once set uh, the the people working on the concrete itself uh, have a laser system themselves, and the two match up to ensure that uh, we are getting the exact uh, same surface uh, throughout. And and uh, one is all that's needed, but then we have two checks behind that to make sure that that we are achieving that. And how thick is the concrete base? Eight inches. It's roughly four inches below the, the pipe system that freezes it and about four inches above it. Is there a next big plateau of what comes next after this? Uh, in terms of the overall arena? Yeah, I mean, even though there's obviously a ton of things going on simultaneously, is there one next big thing that will be finished? There's, there's two things I think that will become very, very visible. There's a lot of other activities going on, and I don't want to slight the workers that are doing those. But you'll see all the seats go in. Uh, that's huge because it's so busy. And the other thing is the, uh, the introduction of the scoreboard. It's a huge scoreboard that you can see the, it'll be able to retract into the ceiling. And you can see the, how huge it is because of the hole that's left in the ceiling. And uh, that too, we'll think about how it will we'll raise that into position. So those two events probably will stand out uh, as you know, worthy uh, media type events. You can come down and take another look at how we're doing.